This is Gene Key, KTTT News. There's a renewed warning about cantaloupe. The nationwide outbreak of listeria is now the second deadliest outbreak in the United States history. The Colorado fruits are now responsible for 21 deaths, and the CDC expects that number to grow. It's killed two in Texas, five in New Mexico, and one person in Oklahoma. Most healthy adults can consume listeria without any side effects, but it can kill the elderly and be very dangerous for pregnant women because it's easily passed to her baby. Representatives and employees from the Valero McKee Refinery officially presented a total of $300,000 to seven local children's charities last Friday at the Hampton Inn here in Dumas. The large amount of money was a result of fundraising done through the 2011 Valero Texas Open Benefit for Children Golf Classic, which raised a record $9 million for charities across the nation. NewsChannel10.com reports there's some troubling news for those of you on Medicare. At least half of Texas physicians say they would consider dropping the Medicare program altogether if Congress allows the deep cuts planned in reimbursement payments. That means more elderly people would lose their doctor and have a harder time finding a new one. The Texas Medical Association says doctors love their patients, but they can't afford to continue to care for them if Medicare doesn't cover the cost of doing it. If Congress doesn't act soon, there will be a 30% cut in reimbursement starting January 1st. This is Gene Key, KTTD News.